this point, it's a good idea to use an example to explain how we're going to use these equations and how we're going to set up all the frustum components to calculate an equivalent member stiffness. Let's consider an example. We're going to use an M14 by 2 steel bolt to clamp two 15 millimeter thick steel plates and we're going to use a 14R metric plane washer. We look up the thickness of the washer in table A33, and we find that it is 3.5 millimeters thick. So the grip length is just going to be the thickness of all the compressed components. It's going to be 3.5 millimeters plus the top plate thickness of 15 millimeters plus the bottom plate thickness of 15 millimeters. It's just going to be 33.5 millimeters. So that is our grip. And of course, the geometric midpoint of the frustum is not going to be at the interface between the two plates. So what this means in general is that we have a top frustum, which is the washer. We have a middle frustum right here, which is entirely embedded in the top plate. We have an intermediate piece in here, which is embedded in the upper plate. And then we have a lower piece in here. And since we don't have a bottom washer, that's our last frustum. So that means we have one, two, three, four frustums. And that means we have four stiffnesses that we must find. So there are four Ks for this geometry. If the upper plate was of a different elastic modulus than the lower plate and was even different from the elastic modulus of the washer, we would have three elastic moduli that we would have to do these calculations for. And that means every time there's a different elastic modulus, of course, you have to consider the effect that that has on the effective spring stiffness. Now the one thing that's true here is that I have a steel plate, a steel washer, a steel bottom plate, all of which have the same elastic modulus, 207 GPA. So my life is a little bit simpler. It means that if we're clamping similar materials, we do not need four different frosta. In fact, what we need is just two frusta. We're going to be able to get away with, because they're the same materials, a frustum that goes from the underside of the bolt to the geometric midpoint. That's going to be one frustum. And then we will also be able to find a frustum that goes from the bottom side to the geometric midpoint. The height is simply the grip divided by two in each of those cases. So the geometric midpoint is half the grip. Since they're all made of the same material, it turns out that if this is K1, which includes the upper washer, and this is K2, which is the lower plate and up into the upper plate, well, since it's all the same material, they're the same constants, and so the K, K1 is going to be equal to K2. And so life is just a wee bit simpler. It means that 1 over K equivalent is just going to be equal to 1 over K1 plus 1 over K2, but K1 and K2 are the same. So the K equivalent is just going to be equal to K1 over 2, where K1 is found for one of these frusta. So life is very simple in that case. What does that mean? What it means is we take equation 820 and we apply it once and divide it by 2. So the equivalent stiffness is just going to be equal to 1 half times equation 820. So let's just figure out what the D happens to be, the big D, the little D, and what the T is. So if the grip is 33.5, then the T is going to be half of the grip is just 16.75 millimeters. Right, so we're going to take this equation that we have, equation 820. In this case, the big D, which starts at either the top side or the bottom side, is 1.5 times the nominal diameter. That's just 1.5 times 14 because this is an M14 bolt, and that gives us that capital D is 21 millimeters. The thickness T, we already said, was 16.75 millimeters. And since these units cancel each other, life is going to be a little bit simpler. But we're going to have to be careful about mixed units when we come up into the numerator of the problem. If we use equation 820 and our understanding that capital D is going to be 21 millimeters, the thickness is half the grip, which is 
five millimeters. The elastic modulus is 207 times 10 to the ninth Newton per meter squared, and that the equivalent member stiffness is going to be one half the stiffness of each half of the frustum. Remember, we have two frustums now, the upper frustum and the lower frustum, and we have these two frusta because they are all made of the same material. Otherwise, we have to do a calculation for each component of the frustum. But if we do all of that, we can calculate an equivalent member stiffness is going to be equal to roughly 2.969 times 10 to the 9th Newton per meter.